I started a new project. Um, I took this uh, go kart I got for like $75, and it used to have one of the little Tecumsehs on it. And I had a lot of problems with this motor, mostly carburetor that was on there, and a lot of pull cord issues. So I got sick of that fast. Um, but haven't made any other vid videos of this but the mount sort of worked I had to use like half the two spots that the motor bolts on for the original bracket then I had to make up another one so I think I have three I don't have four but uh then the clutch was another issue where if you noticed this shaft on the motor I think is a one inch and then the one on the other motor is I think a three quarter I think this something like that I know this one's a lot bigger so I should have made a video of this because I bet a lot of people come to the problem but without all this on here I took a grinder and I shaved it down turned it shaved it down turned it shaved it down turned it I kept doing that until the clutch would fit on and uh then I just grind a flat spot so the key kind of went on that so it works it's all tight thanks to the bolt on here and I'll try to show this try to have the camera straight but as I turn it you can see it started to move over from right here and then it moves a little bit more and then it'll just come right back but this thing is really close <laughs> it's on the compression stroke oh. And, uh, see, I took off the head, and I cleaned all that up. Um, I saw a few videos on there of people porting them and lapping valves. I'm not quite sure how you go about all that, but I just polished it, and I cleaned it up as best as I could. And I used some really light sandpaper, and it came out pretty good. And then for the flywheel, <coughs> I was going to have... The pull start on it but looking at the prices for the piece that comes out and ratchets and then to have the whole string coil or whatever that was going to be like sixty dollars but for either a brand new starter or just get a new starter gear which starter is not on it that's only going to be like ten dollars so it would be a lot cheaper so off. I painted the flywheel, but the thing is with this flywheel, it takes the plastic starter gear. So I don't want to go through starter gears every other day. Um, I had one of those, I think 16 horses, the one with the overhead valves. That one had a uh, flywheel like this one, but the tooth ratio was different on it. And that would take a steel starter gear. And I have that on my other Briggs, but I think that's the 28 model. And that's uh, cubic inches, I think. And this one's a 25. And they're saying that you could take the crank out of them and the piston and whatever else and shave down the head or whatever and you can make a stroker motor out of it. Sounds like quite a bit of work, but I don't know if I'll do that. I might. There's no other videos on YouTube about it. There's just one guy explaining it. And then, if you know this motor, it takes the updraft carburetor. So it originally mounted on something, something like that. But I took the 90 that went to it flipped it upside down and I used a 19 horse carburetor and this is a downdraft carburetor it's a little bit rusty here and there but everything is still moving nothing seized up I had this carburetor on a motor before and it worked but near the end of the motor it was starting to run shitty so I don't know exactly if it was the motor or the carburetor I wasn't quite sure I didn't really tried too hard but that 
I think that will give it some more power, I think. I don't know. It is a better carburetor, I think, than the updraft carburetors because you get the gas directly to the motor no matter what. And, <clears throat> see, the coil came off a of V-twin Vanguard. I did this a long time ago. It bolted right on and it works perfect. And then uh, the gas tank came off an older case lawn tractor and the thing that I did was it already had this bracket to it and this bar in the middle was longer and I cut it and I used it on the back so I just pretty much globbed it on there or whatever just use a stick welder I'll grind those down grind it down eventually and they <coughs> take straps they go over this lip and down around and then bolts on the bottom so it's fairly strong but I'll probably have a gusset go down to the motor or something I don't know because the gas is going to weigh quite a bit and I already got the fuel line coming off here going to the carburetor this carburetor also has the fuel pump so I had to have the other hose come off the oil dipstick so this thing is fairly close to being started, mostly waiting on a starter gear, or figuring out a starter setup. Because I think I tried the flywheel from the 16 horse one time, but it just did not fit on top of it. I don't know what it was. Something about the taper, or I don't know. Something was wrong. And hmm. then the chain. Oh, I can't not see. Well, there's a sprocket right in between here, then there's the big sprocket down there, and I still got a, I have a chain, but it's been welded on, and I tried to fix it quite a few times, so I gotta get a new chain for that, and I gotta line up the gears a little better, I just kinda roughed it, and then got some motor oil for it, some 40 weight, that's what you're supposed to run in the winter, I think. It says non-detergent, I'm not sure what that means, but I don't really care because I'm not going to run this oil for long. And I got some engine degreaser, and hmm, I have to fire up the motor to use this, apparently you have to run it for 5 minutes and have it warm, spray this stuff on there, and I don't know, wipe it or, I don't know, just keep running it, I got no clue. But this motor I've been trying to clean up, and a guy before me painted the motor orange and then I cleaned it up but I never had it super clean and I painted it red so now it's orange and red and then matches the gas tank I suppose but uh yeah uh somebody can comment on this video tell me what would be a good thing to do for it to get a little bit more power or whatever it does have a straight pipe but I'm not really going to mess with that much, but for like portering, por porting it, or polishing, or whatever, or making a stroker motor, I don't know, if I made a stroker motor, I have to change the shaft again, and that took some doing, but uh, comment, like, rate, subscribe, whatever the hell these videos do now, give me a little bit of ideas. I gotta swap the tires on it again because all of them are flat. Sucks.